guys welcome back to the Moran family so today's video is going to be what's on my baby registry so I'm gonna walk you through my entire registry I'm gonna show you everything that's on it tell you why I have the things that are on it why I want those things why I don't have certain things on there so I will say this is my fourth baby if you are new here so I feel like my registry is pretty minimal I don't have too many things on there I kind of have an idea of what worked for me and my baby what I didn't like what was a necessity for me and just what was like pointless for me and I didn't like so the registry that I'm currently using is called baby list I did not use this one with my other kids but I kind of wish I did because it's so simple with my other kids I basically only just did my registry on Target but this time I went with baby list because it's really nice you can literally link products from anywhere from Target, Walmart, Pottery Barn, Bye Bye Baby, Etsy, literally any place that you buy your baby stuff, you can link it on baby list. So the first thing on my registry is swaddles and blankets. So I do have this thick blanket. I only have one thick blanket on my registry right now because it is summer. So it's kind of hard to find like warmer clothes and like thick blankets right now online so baby girl is due october 30th so it is going to be like really cold outside so that's why i want to get like a lot of blankets for her because it does drop down pretty cold where we live so i do have one thick blanket for her and then i have one two three four five i have five swaddles on my registry i love swaddles i just went with the simple basic muslin swaddles i didn't ever use like the velcro ones i never had any issues of them breaking out anything like that so i do have a few swaddles from spearmint baby they have the cutest swaddles they can kind of get pricey on spearmint baby so i steered clear of that a little bit but they just have the cutest prints so i do have a few from there so the theme that you'll see on my registry is i went with a lot of like neutral colors like gender neutral things i do obviously know i am pregnant with a girl but i've just been really into like the muted prints versus like the bright pinks and just all of those like busy prints the next thing on my registry is a milk snob nest cover in white sand so i do actually have the milk snob rest so here's what it looks like i was gifted this because i did win their instagram giveaway so i'm so excited to use this it's kind of like a docatot it's just a baby lounger i never used a docatot with any of my other children so i don't know if it's like a baby necessity but like i said i did win this so i'm super excited to use it for baby girl so since i'm going to be using that i did put one cover on my registry that way in case like baby girl has like a blowout or she spits up on it i can just pop off the cover wash it and then we're good to go so the next thing on my registry is a wooden baby hairbrush so it comes with the brush a comb and then it also comes with a little silicone baby massager for their scalp babies tend to get cradle caps so having that massager is really nice so the next thing on my registry are some pacifiers the ones that i have on my registry right now is by the brand bibs i've never used these pacifiers with my other children i'm not gonna lie to you guys the reason why i put the bibs pacifiers on my registry is because they look so so cute they're just aesthetically pleasing like the colors they have are so pretty so that's the reason why i put that brand on my registry i do have a pack left over from my baby shower with aurora of the basic soothing pacifiers so i do have those for backup i did also have the brand ryan and rose pacifiers and their clips on my registry but i took those off because a really nice subscriber of ours sent us some pacifiers for baby girl so here's what the ryan and rose pacifiers look like these kind of remind me of the soothing pacifiers but cuter and then i also was sent some pacifier clips by that same brand so if you sent these for baby girl thank you so much i can't wait to use them they're just so adorable so for baby girl i now have three different types of pacifiers to try out i have the soothing ones that aurora loved 
the Bibs pacifier because they're so cute. And then I also have those Ryan and Rose pacifiers. Next thing on my list is a travel size sound machine. The reason why I put this on my registry is for the simple fact that it's portable. I love sound machines. If I can recommend one product to a mom, it would be a sound machine. I'll talk about the one that I use for my girls in a second. So the reason why I put this one on my registry, like I said, is because it's portable. So that way, whenever we're visiting family or we're over like our friend's house or something, I have a sound machine to use for them because the one that I do use currently for the girls, you have to plug it into a wall. So it's kind of like a hassle having to unplug it and then like, bring it for travel and then I wouldn't be able to use it in the car either. So I wanted to get a portable one this time around. All right, let's talk about strollers and car seats. So I went with a brand Chico. The car seat that I went with is the KeyFit 30. I didn't use the brand Chico for my other kids. I think I used the brand Baby Trend for them. So the reason why I went with the Chico KeyFit 30 this time around is because I was just doing a lot of research on what's safest and the Chico KeyFit 30 was like the number one car seat that everybody recommended. It had cons consistent good reviews on like a different website because I read reviews off of like Target. I read reviews off of Amazon, off of Bye Bye Baby. So I did my research on this car seat and it just had consistent raves. The second reason why I went with the Chico KeyFit 30 is because my goal is to fit three car seats in my car. We currently drive a Chrysler 200 and I was doing my research to see if it's even doable to fit three car seats in my car and it looks like it is. So I'm gonna try to make it work because if I can avoid buying a brand new car altogether and save a whole bunch of money, then I'm gonna do that. So it looks like the Chico KeyFit 30 is the best infant car seat that would fit in my car to get three car seats across. So the stroller that I went with for the infant car seat is also by the brand Chico, but I went with their mini Bravo Plus stroller. So it isn't the regular stroller that goes with the infant car seat. You can save money and buy the bundle. It's like the Bravo travel set that comes with the stroller and the infant car seat. But the reason why I didn't just get the travel set and save some money is because the original stroller that goes with the Chico KeyFit 30, it did not have good reviews at all. A lot of people said the wheels get stuck and it just did not have good reviews. So I ended up spending a little bit more money and I went with the mini Bravo Plus stroller, which had really good reviews. So it goes together, but it didn't come as a set, just to let you guys know. Next thing on my list are some multi-use covers by the brand Copper Pearl. I use these for the girls and I love them. It's a must for me. So you can use it as a nursing cover. I did breastfeed my kids and I do plan on breastfeeding baby girl. So it will really come in handy because like I said, you can use it as a breastfeeding cover. And then you can also put it over the baby's car seat to keep them covered. So let's talk about baby carriers. The only carrier that I have on my registry right now is by Soli Baby and it is a wrap. So many people rave about baby wraps. I never use them with my other girls. I just use a regular baby carrier, but I really wanna try out a wrap for baby girl. I just hear they're a must have, especially when they're infants and they're really tiny. I hear a wrap is the way to go. So that's why I put that one on my registry. I do have my baby carrier that I use for the girls saved. It's by the brand Ergo Baby. So I'll put a picture of the one that I have currently right here. But if you use that carrier for an infant, you have to use the infant insert. I do have that infant insert as well. I saved it. So I can use the carrier that I have now from infant like all the way until toddler. But let's talk about my favorite sound machine. The number one baby product that I would recommend to you guys is this sound machine. You need it in your life. It is a game changer. It's by the brand Hatch and it's their Rest Baby Sound Machine. It's really awesome. You can touch the top of it and turn it on. You can change it by touching the top of it. It has a whole bunch of sounds like wind, 
ocean it has lullaby music on it so it has a lot of different options you can also change the color of it you can set it to rainbow so that way it just automatically changes throughout the night or you can put it like blue purple literally any color so you can completely customize it however you want you can also control it from your phone which is a game changer for nighttime feedings because let's say I hear a baby crying on my baby monitor then I can just go into my phone I can turn up the brightness on the sound machine and then I can enter the room that way I can see baby you can also program it on your phone to when you want it to turn on automatically when you want it to shut off so for my kids they usually go down for bed at 8 p.m. and then they wake up at 8 a.m. so I automatically have the sound machine set to turn on at like 7 30 p.m. and then at 8 a.m. I have the sound machine set to shut off like the ocean sounds that they sleep with and then it automatically plays like music so that way whenever the girls hear the ocean sound shut off and they hear the music turn on that way they know when it's okay to get out of bed and to go bug mom so it's really nice because you can really just customize it for your children for any age so the baby monitor that i put on my registry is by the brand lollipop baby I hear so many people rave about this brand. I didn't use it with my other children, but I would really love to try it out for baby girl. I like how the end of the monitor is like bendable, so you can twist it to put it on like baby's crib. So you can also see the baby monitor on your phone, which I really liked. The baby monitor that I currently use for the kids and that I used when they were babies is by the brand VTech. So it comes with a parent monitor. So I like the lollipop baby one because like I said, you can see it on your phone. Let's be honest, I have my phone with me like 24 seven. It's attached to my hip. So I like how you can view the lollipop baby one on your phone because like I said, I have my phone with me everywhere. Next thing on my list is by Frida Baby and it is their nose Frida snot sucker. So the way it works is you put one end in your mouth and the other end in your baby's nose and then you have to suck out the snot. I know that sounds so gross, but I promise no boogers ever come close to your mouth because it has like a little filter, but it works so good. It is a game changer, especially for like those boogers that are all the way in there and you can't like pick out of your baby's nose. The nose Frida is amazing for that. Another necessity that I have on my registry is a boppy pillow. And another one of our subscribers actually sent me the boppy pillow. So thank you so much if you sent this. For baby girl so I know there's a bunch of other pillows out there but I used to bobby pillow for all of my other children I breastfed them and it just works so I know I love it it's really good for propping up your baby to breastfeed or bottle feeding but you can also use it for tummy time it also comes in handy whenever your baby starts to sit up you can just sit your baby in the middle and then they can have like the back support. So since I registered for the boppy pillow, I also have a boppy pillow cover on my registry in case baby spits up, I, you know, spill something on it, blow out, all that stuff. That way I can just pop the cover off, throw it in the wash, and then the pillow is good to go. Next thing on my list are some burp cloths. I am going with the brand Copper Pearl for birth cloths, but you can totally get cheaper ones off of like Amazon or Walmart. You really don't need expensive birth cloths. I went with the Copper Pearl ones just because I like the prints. So that's why I went with those ones. But like I said, you can totally get cheaper ones like Walmart or Amazon ones for like a few bucks. Because let's be honest, burp cloths are intended for like burping your baby. So burp cloths get really messy with like spit up. I also like to use them for like cleaning boogers. That way tissues aren't like super rough on my baby. So burp cloths just get super messy. So any cheap ones will do honestly. Next thing I put on my registry is two different types of baby bottles. So the first one that I went with is the Como Tomo. I hear raves about that baby bottle. I have not used it yet 
but I hear a lot of rave so I put one of those so that way I can try it out and then the second one that I went with is by Hero Ability Baby so I actually use that for Aurora and the reason why I like that brand is because it comes with like a bunch of different compartments for the bottle. So it comes with a little container for formula and then it also comes with a little piece that you put inside your bottle. That way if you're making a formula bottle, it helps break up like any clumps. So the reason why I put bottles on my registry even though I am going to breastfeed is because I do plan on pumping that way my husband can feed baby girl because it's really important to him that he takes a part in the feeding process. I did not put a pump on my registry because I already have one. The one that I use for my girls is by Spectra. I went with the S2 one and I absolutely love that one. I would recommend it if you guys are looking for a breast pump. I also have a bottle brush on my registry. That's a must have to clean baby bottles. Next thing on my list is a baby bottle drying rack. I went with the brand Boone. I actually have one of these in my kitchen right now and I love it. It's amazing to put like your bottles, to put pacifiers, all of that stuff. Anything that you wash, it's really nice to put it on there. That way you don't have to put all of the bottles in with like your normal drying rack for your regular dishes. Next thing on my registry is a manual breast pump by the brand Haka. So many people rave about their Haka and I've never used it before so I'm so excited to use it. So if you are a first time mom then you probably don't know this but when you're breastfeeding your baby on one side, your boob on the other side most likely will be leaking. So it's nice to have the Haka on the breast that you're not breastfeeding on to catch all of your leakage so that you don't waste any of that liquid gold. Next thing on my registry is a baby high chair. I just went with the simple Ikea one. You've probably seen it because I swear everybody has it on social media. There's nothing special about it. It's just a basic white high chair. Next thing on my registry are some bath time products. I'm gonna kind of go through this category quick because they don't really need any explanation. I have some hooded towels on my registry. I like the hooded ones more because infants get really cold easily so having that extra like coverage on their head is nice. I also have some baby washcloths on here and then I have two types of like baby seats for the bath. The first one really isn't like a tub, it's kind of just like a seat. It's for your kitchen sink. So it's by the brand Blooming Bath and it looks like a flower so it's so aesthetically pleasing. But the main reason I got it is so that way I can give a baby girl a bath in my kitchen sink. So our sink is actually really nice so I plan on giving baby girl a bath in the sink when she's like an infant. So I figured the seat one would be really good for that. And then when she gets a little bit bigger, I have this one. This was also sent by a subscriber. So if you sent this to us, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is by the brand Angel Care. I used this one for, sorry if you hear my children in the back. I used this one for Aurora and I loved it. So it kind of has like this silicone rubber material right here. It has holes all through it. So that way your baby is getting water like all around. So that way your baby doesn't get cold. And then the bottom of this also has a grip so that way this doesn't like slide around and move in the tub. So I would really recommend this one if you guys are looking for like a baby bathtub. So as far as like shampoo and lotion, all of that stuff, the brand that I love is Dove. So I like to use the Baby Dove line for all of my children. It just worked. I never had any issues for like their skin breaking out or like their skin being really dry. The Baby Dove has just always worked for me so that's why I'm going with that brand again. So let's talk about diapering. So I am actually going with a changing pad that you would put like on top of your dresser. Baby Girl's nursery is going to be in our master bedroom. So she's going to be like on this, her crib is going to be on my side of the bed and then her changing station is going to be on my dresser. So the one that I went with is by the brand Skip Hop. I originally wanted, oh, I'm not sure the name of it, I'll put a picture right here. I think it's called like a peanut or something. I originally wanted that one, but it's so expensive. So I just went with a cheaper version, which had really good reviews as well. Bless you. <laughs> so I went with the brand Skip Hop. It had really good reviews. I love the brand Skip Hop, so I went with that one. I also am getting a changing mat. The one that I put on my registry is a little 
pricey versus other versions but the reason why i went this one is because the print on the changing mat is so cute but let's be honest you don't need the pricier version because it's just a changing mat but i went with it this might be our last baby so i'm kind of going a little bit extra this time around so the next thing that i have on my registry is a diaper caddy like i said baby girls changing station is going to be on my dresser so i am going with a diaper caddy i used a diaper caddy with my previous girls and i loved it because you can literally put all of your diapers in it put all of your wipes in it you can put like nail clippers you can put lotion you literally can put all of your baby's necessities in the diaper caddy and then you can carry it from room to room so that's why i'm getting one of those I also put some disposable diaper sacks on my registry. I do have a diaper pail that I saved from the girls. Once your babies like start doing like solid poops and all of that stuff and they're not like in the infant stage anymore, the diaper pail does not 100% hold in the scent. So it can get a little bit stinky, which sucks, but that's just the, that's just the reality of it. The diaper pail does not hold in the smell completely. So a little trick to combat that smell is to first throw your poopy diaper in the diaper sacks and then throw it inside of your diaper genie. That will really help just seal in the scent so that way your room doesn't smell like dirty diapers. I also like to throw some disposable diaper sacks inside my diaper bag. That way if I'm out and about and I need to change like a poopy diaper in my car, I can just put it inside the bag until I'm able to get to a trash can. So as far as diapers go, the brand that has never let me down is Pampers. So I do have Pampers Swaddlers on my registry. I have newborn all the way up until size one on my registry. As far as wipes go, I'm also going the Pampers route. The ones that I do like from them is their sensitive wipes. I think I'm also going to go with their pure wipes as well. As far as nursery and decor goes, I have a few things on my registry. So the first one is some dresser like organizers. These ones are just from Amazon, so they're super basic. They just go inside of your dresser. That way you can keep like the diapers organized, the socks organized. So I and I'm gonna get a few of those for baby girl because like I said, we are going to have her nursery in our master bedroom. So I'm going to clear out like my entire top drawer and I'm going to give that to her. Another thing on my registry is a large cotton rope basket. I already have one of these in my room. I have a black one in my room and I'm going to use that one for her laundry. And then this one on my registry, I'm going to use for all of like her toys and rattles. Next thing on my registry is a muslin crib sheet. I love those, those are super soft. So the crib that I'm going with is by the brand Baby Leto and it is their three in one convertible crib. So you can use it all the way from them being an infant all the way until a toddler. So I can get a ton of use out of that. So that's why I went with that one. So let's talk about toys and books. I'm not gonna go through every single thing that I have on my registry one by one because you don't really need to have toys and books on your registry because baby is not going to be using them right away. So the first thing that I have, I want so bad, but it's kind of pricey. So Benny is so against it, but it's a wooden gym. It's so cute. So I want that so bad, so we'll see if I get it. I also have some teethers on here. I have some like taggy books. I have board books on here. I have a play mat to go underneath the wooden gym. I have some stacking cups. I have a rattle on here. So the last things that I have on my registry are clothes and accessories, but I'm not gonna go through every single thing just because things always get out of stock like i said i've been really into like the gender neutral colors so i have a lot of basics on here and baby girl is going to be born during the colder months so i have a lot of sleepers on here long sleeves pants socks beanies i didn't put any summer clothing on my registry just because i didn't want my guests to like purchase them in like infant sizing and stuff because she'd never be able to wear them because she's going to be born at the end of October. So that's why I didn't put those on there. And then the last things on my list are some baby bows. So I have bows from two different bands, a little Daisy Dot, which has like the cutest prints. And then I have like the classic baby bows by the brand Baby Blink. 
So that is everything on my registry. I obviously didn't put too much stuff on there because it is my fourth baby. So I do have some stuff saved from my other girls. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this baby registry video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Never up, never down